What? See, no, it makes the perfect, oh, Christmas in July. <gasps> That's an excellent idea. 38 degrees on December 30th, 2022. <sighs> After all that really cold weather we had around Christmas time, this feels warm, <laughs> sort of. I had a fine natty. It's wow, I'm so close. I'm sorry. Maybe you can see Ernie way back there. I don't see Natty. She's in the woods. Oh, I see her. She kind of blends in with the trees. If you are new to my channel, I have three dogs, two Leonbergers. Natty is a Leonberger, and then we have Wilder, and then we have a little Minpin. Her name is Piper. She's cute. Really, she is. <laughs> you guys are not. Oh boy, we've got a lot going on. Somebody needs to come take all the dogs for a walk. Okay, so today is December 30th. And December 30th is still considered Christmas season, right? Between Christmas and New Year's, you still celebrate Christmas? Why do you ask, you wonder? Because I found I found something the other day at the store. We're at Walmart checking out on all the clearance stuff. And look at what I found here. Check it out. It's a little mini waffle maker. It's a different brand. I don't even know what brand it is. But it does Santa waffles. Santa waffles. I bought it. I couldn't help it. I probably could have, but I didn't want to because it was like five bucks and I barely ever buy anything fun except for waffle makers. A Santa waffle maker, it's kind of fat. Oh, well look, it's Santa. I'm not even into Santa. We didn't even do Santa with our kids. That's a different story, but <laughs> I think this is fun, yeah. And to go with my Santa waffles, I'm going to make some candy cane lane tea. Yeah. <laughs> it's all washed up, ready to plug in. I thought about trying out the recipe that comes in the book, but it calls for cornstarch. Do you put cornstarch in your waffle batter? I've never done that, so I'm just going to use my old standby recipe. Too much in. <laughs> no, I know. I don't know. Didn't know how much to add. So I forgot about this one because I was on the phone. So it got a little dark, but that's okay because it's a little crispier. Some people like crispy waffles. Anyway, these are really cute. I think I'm going to try to make a chaffle. Oh, that's what I went to do. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't call it that, but that's what I'm going to try. Um, a more substantial waffle. So I went over to my computer to look up a recipe and then I thought I'll print out a calendar because it's December 30th and I need a new calendar for next year. And then I said, oh, I got to make an appointment. So I made an appointment and round and round we went and my waffle got really dark. <laughs> Something like that. I guess oh. it's just like cheesy bread. Yeah, like cheesy bread. That still sounds gross. Well, it's more like a cheese souffle. That's, that's, that's what it's more thing. like. Hello, everybody. I'm back. No! <laughs> I threw your voiceover. <laughs> the question is was the mini no. Santa waffle maker worth the $5 I spent on it? No. Yes, it was. It was fun. And I'm not even into so I'm not hard. even into Santa, but that was fun. And now we'll put it away until next Christmas. What? See, no, it makes the perfect oh Christmas in July. <gasps> 
That's an excellent idea.